SNL returned for its 48th season after the mass exodus of eight former cast members, the addition of four new players, and a host from this summer's biggest blockbuster, no, not Tom Cruise, but rather first-timer Miles Teller. The cold open addressed this as Teller, playing Peyton Manning, provided commentary to an unfolding secondary cold open sketch involving Trump at his resort. Perhaps this meta approach seemed clever on paper, but in practice one might ponder, INS Ted of writing a sketch about why a sketch isn't funny. Why didn't he the writers use this fresh start to just come up with something actually funny, without the unnecessary quotations? This season opener revealed that, even with a committed and serviceable host, the show's lackluster writing has veteran performers going through the motions and stunts the fresh new players from adding their own comedic voices. Here's a breakdown of what happened. Let's be real. Contemporary SNL continues to thrive with non-live comedy. This sketch manages to explain the time-sensitive new social media phenomenon Be Real, by setting it against a bank robbery. The absurd situation also challenges the ethos of the platform suggesting that all it has done is made us instantly performative as we stage our Beryl posts. Rooftop Bar, the second segment of the night that focused on men's inability to respectively or coherently communicate with women, was somehow more of a failure than the first. Combined with Send Something Normal, this sketch reveals the program's biggest problem. T had even when making fun of contemporary masculinity, it is still stagnantly rooted in that point of view. See the trombone champ joke in Weekend Update. Sponsored sketch of the night. It was pointless, almost exclusively relying on fecal humor and played out family dynamics, and the climax appeared to just be Teller and Bowen Yang dancing in bear costumes. But why can't SNL master the comedic product placement like 30 Rock did almost a decade ago with these Snapple and Verizon gags? Better late than never sketch. Nicole Kidman AMC ad, SNL. For more than a year, it has remained a mystery why SNL hadn't spoofed the now iconic Nicole Kidman AMC advertisement. Chloe Fineman continues to deliver on celebrity impersonations, combining Kidman's gravitas with an exaggerated Australian accent. While it would have been funny for the sketch to focus on the less desirable aspects of the multiplex, like people texting, sticky floors, or someone sitting next to you when there are an abundant amount of open seats, channeling the collective movie-going experience into a mystical conjuring that has Kidman take flight in some sort of transcendent ritual was an unexpected twist. Weekend Update, Mitch McConnell and Herschel Walker on 2022 Midterms, SNL, Kenan Thompson, after 20 seasons, remains one of the highlights of the program. Hopefully, he is getting paid more than the other cast members as he seems to appear in nearly every sketch. Even in bad ones like Charmin Bears and Send Something Normal, he manages to find some level of humor. Saturday Night Live Miles Teller Kendrick Lamar, Season 48, Episode 1, Comedy, Music Grade D Plus cast the Saturday Night Live band themselves Don Pardo Self, Announcer Daryl Hammond Various Lenny Pickett Self, Bandleader Kenan Thompson Various Seth Meyers Weekend Update Anchor.